Hey guys, I'm Dave Pangione, and this is my channel, Remodeling HQ. If you're interested in home remodeling, this is the place you want to be. I'm a third generation builder. I've been on job sites for over 50 years. We have over 850 home remodeling videos specializing in end levels, major home remodeling, all filmed on location in New Jersey. Now, I'm not putting down the other guys, but if you want to see real home remodeling, you need to watch this channel. It's very simple. Click on the like button, subscribe to our channel. And you will witness major home remodeling projects. We're going to be converting Cape Cods. We're going to be converting ranches. We're going to be converting split levels. Entire home remodeling projects filmed live in New Jersey. So a lot of times people want to open up a wall between uh, two rooms. They're going to extend a room. They don't want a header lowered down or intruding on the uh, below the ceiling, which then they'll have to consider installing a flitch plate. So a flitch plate is a structural piece of steel with a engineered beam on each side of it. You put it all together and uh, what will happen is you bolt it together, you'll connect the floor beams on each side and then there'll be a flush beam underneath and you'll have a nice flush ceiling going through from one room into the other. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so right now we're looking down at a flitch beam and you can see right now that what I'm standing on over here, what you're seeing is the existing floor and this floor was here and then you see this flitch plate and then you see the new floor that we just created. So in order to attach the floor beams to this flitch, we have a steel beam here which is calculated by an architect or an engineer and then on each side, in, or, in other words, we have over here a 2x8 and 2x8 so we're going to use 2x8 material. So this is an inch and three quarter by a uh, seven and a quarter inch LDL material. We have one on each side, which is what the calculations call for. We have the steel in the middle. We bolt it all together. And once it's bolted, you can see they're staggered every 16 inches. In this case, it's every 12 inches because these four beams are uh, every 12 inches. So what we did is we put it together and now you can see how it accepts the floor beams on both sides. And now we have a nice structural floor. And one big room for the in-law, for the mother-in-law suite. Okay, so you can see the lower level right here. We put in a, an awning window, two in the rear, one on the side. There's gonna be a, another awning window going into the side entry here. And what we're doing is now we're taking out the center wall between the addition and the existing. You can see our flitch plate, and I'll zoom in on that yellow colored beam right there. And that beam right here is two pieces of inch and three quarter by seven inch LDL material with a three quarter inch by seven inch steel beam. It's put together. And what we did is I'll show you how we structurally the existing ceiling to the new beam. So we have our our flitch plate installed. We have our existing ceiling coming across and it butts into the flitch plate. We have our new ceiling coming in and connected. Now we're just taking out this center wall right here. Literally everything's connected already. Now we're just pulling out the wall that's holding the old ceiling up. 
and now we've created one large one. And just like that, we've opened up this room into one large area. You can see the window scheme. We have the, the awnings. We have another awning over there. And this would be a, uh, a family room, billiards area. And that will finalize the removal of this wall. Hey guys, I'm Dave Pangione. If you've watched this video and you like what you see, click the thumbs up button. Thanks.